Okay, this is my first uh, quick capture video here. Um, one of the... F this is... Uh, what's this over here? Um, I wanted to do a video thing about um, this watchdog group uh, that are apparently bashing Nintendo just because they're releasing the game Mad World that is uh, by Sega, where basically it's all black and white and the only thing you see is blood basically and that's the only color in the game and it's supposed to be you know just beating the crap out of people and other things in a black and white world with blood obviously as I just said being the only color that you will see on the screen and it's very violent and one of the things they said was the release of Mad World for the Wii brings violent video games to a once family friendly platform says NIMF president Dr. David Walsh. Mad World is another reminder that parents need to make sure they watch what their kids watch and play what their kids play. I don't know, but the whole point is there are a reason, there are ratings on the games for parents to take control of what their kids play. It's not up to the kids, it's not up to the people who sell the games to the kids. The point of ratings is for parents to see, say, okay, my kid's allowed to play this, my kid's allowed to play that. Now, honestly, there are some games that are given teen ratings or mature ratings that really don't deserve those types of ratings. Um, for instance, uh, Street Fighter deserves a, is a teen rating, which I can understand. It's, it's a fighting game, you know, you got people beating the crap out of each other. And another thing is, the girls wear very extremely scantily clad clothing, uh, especially... Uh, Cami, where my god woman put some clothes on, but seriously, um, if these people can get mad at the game all they want, that's not going to change it. They've s people have been trying to ban violent video game sales for who knows how many years. They're saying that there there's really no link between violent video games and violent aggression in people. Honestly, I've played violent video games all my life. I was born and raised on Doom, Duke Nukem, uh, Street Fighter, a fighting game. You pick any sort of violent video game out there, I've played it. I am not an angry person. I am only angry because I am part Irish, okay? We Irish are very stubborn, and when need be, we can get very angry and aggressive. But aggression comes not from a game. There was a study on here recently I remember on Yahoo that said violent video games actually um, help people. They actually decrease their aggression because they vent it in a virtual world. Who cares if you're driving around as some guy in a truck and you run over people? Who cares if you get a hooker in the back of your car and your money goes up while your or your money goes down while your health goes up? Big deal. It's a freaking video game. Get over yourselves. Video games have been around for God, since what, the 80s? And who cares if you can shoot somebody's head off and you see blood <laughs> spurt all over the place? If you want to ban what the kids see that are violent, why don't you idiots monitor what they watch on television? Why don't you monitor what they hear with the music? Why don't you monitor what they see in movies? What they see in everyday freaking life? Oh no, that's up to the parents to, dis to the and all that stuff. The parents should block the... Well, if you telling the parents to block the content of the movies, the TV, and the music, well, uh, video games should be the same thing. If you want to rag on anybody about violent video games, don't rag on Nintendo, don't rag on Sony, Microsoft, or the consoles, or the gaming industries that release them. Get to the parents. It's the parents' responsibility to get the kids to understand what should be allowed to play in their house. What should be allowed to be watched in their house. Who cares about what the companies put out. If you're smart, you will rag on them. I know this turned from the whole nin these people berating Nintendo in this game Mad World. Who cares if they release one or two violent games on the Wii? Big deal. Just because Nintendo's a family system doesn't mean that they are only going to put out family friendly games. It's just common sense. That's like saying Microsoft is geared more toward a, a more mature audience. They're going to put out games only for the mature audience? No. They're going to tip the balance for kitty games. They're going to tip the balance for the older people. Same way with Sony. That's You just name 
a system. You just name a company, and boom, they're going to have that type of game. It's just stupid that these people, all they do is sit there and jab and jab and say, oh, these games are too violent, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Again, if you want to rag on somebody, you need to rag on the parents for not doing their job, okay? But even then, there's no official study that says this is true. Violent video games do this to people and make them... Honestly, I believe that those studies they do, the people they pick already have a history of aggression. They already have a history of violence. Personally, again, I'm Irish. It is part of my heritage. Therefore, I already have anger problems. I already have aggression sometimes. That's just in my human nature that I was given from my people, my, my lineage, my great-grandparents, ancestors, whatever. Legendary ancients from back in time when they built the Stargate. I don't know. But aggression is genetic. Aggression is handed down from generation to generation you know it's it's in our genes for some people it's you can't blame a game that you whack somebody's head off and they're gonna always be like oh, I'm a violent person I'm gonna go kill people no okay video games do not turn people nuts and you can sit there and say oh well the people the Columbine kids play Counter-Strike oh this kid played Rainbow Six oh this kid played Halo and he went nuts well you know what there's a difference again they were aggressive people they were idiots, and the smart people who play the games know that the games they play are not real. Yeah, video games aren't real. They're in something called fantasy world. And some people are screwed up enough or stupid enough to sit there and blend fantasy world and real world. Those people are the ones, again, you should be punishing. Those people, if obviously they are not rated by their parents and say, you know, you can't play this game, obviously, because they're on, they're on their own. But those are the ones who screw it over for the rest of us. They're the ones that try to say, this person played a violent video game, therefore, all people who play this violent video game are aggressive. If you play this game, you will be an aggressive bastard and want to run around and chop people's heads off. I just, it's, it's stupid that some, some people really do think that they can pull this crap. Nothing's going to happen, honestly. They can sit there and say, oh, you know, Nintendo's not being family-friendly anymore. Big deal. Smash Brothers is not a family-friendly game. I mean, yeah, you can get your family to play it, but that's not saying it's a family-friendly game. Uh, you pick another game. Uh, what's another Nintendo? Medal of Honor. Those are violent World War II games. You can shoot somebody's head off and you see spurts of blood. Granted, it's not like gushing out, but it's still blood. If you're going to say tons of blood makes you violent, then how come a little squirt of blood is not going to do anything? You're going to sit there and go nuts over a fantasy game about this stuff, but you're not going to get mad at them at all for a World War II game of that type of stuff with vi weapons and violence? Oh, it's okay. They're killing Nazis. Oh, so killing Nazis, understandably, is totally fine. They deserve it. But it's still violent and you're really going to get on to Nintendo for a fantasy game that's totally over the top you really think kids are going to try to recreate an over the top thing well yes they are but then again who's responsible for that the parents and I end this discussion with a screw you to the watchdog group and to Dr. David Walsh you're an idiot okay just seriously it's four in the morning 430. I have nothing more intelligent to say to you because you're not worth my time. Thank you and good night.